And then let's jump right in. So first, what even are icebreakers? So right, icebreakers are games that are designed to break the ice. Typically, you would use those kinds of games at the beginning of like a new school year when you have a new set of students, a new class that you don't know and they don't know you. And that's why, uh, that's when you would use icebreaker games. And why are they important? So for one, they get your students going and speaking in English. And that's really important. You don't want to, you don't want to, um, come into the classroom and then be like, okay, open your books to page five. And then we start, you know, we start studying and going right into English. It's, uh, especially for EFL, when you're teaching students who, you know, don't live in a country where they are exposed to English at all, uh, the classroom that you are in is usually the only place where they are exposed to English. So the whole day they speak their own native language. They're not surrounded by English at all. So that is the only place that where they uh, use English. And so they need time to, you know, like switch their, <laughs> the switch uh, their language in the, in their brains, in their heads, right? If you speak another language, if you know another language, you know what I'm talking about. It's sometimes really difficult to just turn it off and then the other language on, you can become confused. And that's why it's so important. So icebreaker games and icebreaker games are not about studying per se they're just about uh loosening up creating like a, a comfortable and fun environment for you students to use english uh you know to get started and get going in english so that's one thing um then icebreaker games are also great for getting to know your students especially if you know you teach them for the very first time you don't know your students at all so you get to know your students they're they're like what they like what they don't like and a little bit about themselves but also you are able to assess their english level a little bit with those icebreaker games and that's really really useful um for planning your future lessons, right? When you know what your students like, what they don't like, you can create games around, you know, their likes. And also obviously when you figure out their level, you'll be able to create much more suitable lessons for them in the future. So that's the second part. The third important reason that I've chose, I've chosen for um, the icebreaker games is that you can use them to build rapport with your students, right? Because you, yeah, you create this fun environment, a comfortable environment for them to feel safe, to use English. A lot of English learners, you know, they're shy, they feel uncomfortable using English. Um, because it's not something they are they typically do. So you can use icebreakers to sort of, you know, give them confidence, show them that English learning is fun, that there's nothing to worry about. And um, yeah, you can also, yeah, build rapport, get to know them, they get to know you. So those are the three important things why we use icebreakers typically. There's probably a ton more, but those are like the three important things that I chose. And um, yeah, now we're going to get into five and more <laughs> different games. So the last, the fifth game uh, has a couple of different versions to it. So that's why I say five and more. So let's. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.